Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we got the official Makarov reveal trailer for MW3, one of our first official trailers actually showing, you know, gameplay footage and elements of the game itself rather than just revealing the name of it like we got a couple of days back with the whole initial Modern Warfare 3 sort of announcement trailer that we got announcing that the game is called Modern Warfare 3. It's gonna feature Price, it's gonna feature Makarov, and it's dropping on November 10th. This trailer actually shows us a lot more, including actual bits and pieces of gameplay here and there. Now, unfortunately, the audio is definitely copyrighted because they used the one song from like the intro of Tokyo Drift, which I won't lie was awesome. Uh, but that means we can't have the audio in this video. So we're just going to simply be reacting to the gameplay that was shown, which to me is, uh, you know, enough because there's a lot going on here. So we've got the Modern Warfare 3 Makarov reveal trailer. And I'm just going to take the audio track out of the video. So I'll still hear it. So I'll comment on certain things here and there. But we've got Makarov in the shadows in the prison which is where presumably he's been sending the unknown caller texts and you know gifts from to various streamers so dramatic like little live action stuff here it's like half live action half actual gameplay stuff which i think is pretty cool you got the canines the price says there the danger we face is clear and present and then every time we basically zoom in onto a tattoo of makarov here which i won't lie his tattoos actually look really sick uh it's showing bits and pieces of gameplay so some sort of like snow-based convoy going on here this is actual mw3 footage uh it's like in-game stuff here and we're not sure how earlier uh how recent this is right but still it is in-game footage which is cool enough at least in my opinion right so we have that happening there's like drilling into the ice here as well this is one of the lesser shown i guess gameplay aspects of it you don't get as much information from this kind of just showing you stuff but you do see underwater action going on here which i think is pretty cool rewind just a little bit here you can see they're planting and drilling this thing on top of the ice then under the water they're blowing it up for some reason so i mean Graphically, the game looks pretty. All the Call of Duties look pretty, but I'm liking the look of this one for sure. They're blowing something up, though, through the ice here. Then you got multiple characters underwater here. The truck is actually... Actually, might be an ambush now that I think about it. We rewind here. It looks like they're blowing it up, and then the truck falls through the ice, maybe. So they're ambushing that convoy that's up on top of the ice. That's what I'd get out of that, at least, which is pretty interesting. Then we get a little underwater execution that transitions into the live action again. That guy's not having a great day. Makarov kind of takes the presence of like the whole prison though, right? He's on the cameras. They're watching his every move. And then we get another zoom into the tattoo here, which gives us more information on gameplay. So this time we're in like an underwater tunnel, kind of reminds me of like Ashika, where you have like that sort of area there that goes all the way under the map, basically. More underwater gameplay here where they're swimming across. Nothing too crazy, but then we get an mission similar to, uh, you know, Dark Water, I think it was called, back in uh, the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, where you're on some sort of tanker or something here. The rain is coming down, it's under nightfall, and they're zipping up to the top of this tanker here, and you get some stealth action. He's got the suppressed pistol. Again, visually, I'm liking the way the game is looking. It uh, seems pretty clean here, if I do say so myself. And then I believe that that might be Farah. It actually low-key kind of looks like the prison from verdansk i don't think it is let's say but in the background here it's kind of like the tower if i had the face cam a little bit you might be able to see that a little bit better uh so it kind of looks like we're almost in and around verdansk here at least with the prison towers now it could be a different prison i mean it's not like the towers at the prison in verdansk are exclusive to that specific prison building but it's just something to think about for sure more live action here akra has got the whole squad watching him too You've got an unboxing. He's doing all sorts of shady stuff. Then we get more action with the tattoos here. Which shows something getting blown up. And, uh, well, it looks like it's the stadium from Verdansk. Yes. I'm like, honestly, you see the little logo down here, which is like the soccer or kickball logo from uh, Verdansk back in the day when we had that stuff going on. It looks almost the same. And as you can see, there's some sort of like, you know, event or attack happening here. And if I can pause it at the right time here, this says soccer. This is like the exact same logo as the stadium at Verdansk. So are we now going back to Verdansk? 
which would be interesting to say the least because you know the whole it got nuked thing from back in modern warfare 2019 i'm really curious to know what the story is going to be here because obviously everything's canonized now between mw 2019 warzone cold war vanguard it seems like there's multiple Verdansk references here, especially this one, which is like one to one. So definitely an interesting bit of, uh, you know, teasers being thrown in here. But yeah, Makarov up to his old ways, obviously sort of going back from uh, MW2 and MW3 back in the day. He's not a nice guy. Then more gameplay. We've got a plane that's been taken down here. Then we get a little overview of like this sort of field and uh, a, I guess farm area almost. This looks like it's more of a concrete building. We got like a silo of some sort, another more concrete building, but then that almost looks like it's brick. Maybe could be a barn of some sort. And this plane's been taken down and crashed right into it. Maybe we have somebody standing there. It looks like there's a shadow there. Maybe somebody there as well. So they're guarding something they're watching something out of this but regardless more gameplay teasers for the actual storyline here as well then we get a little operator preview uh coming up here more executions they're throwing people away into the uh you know cleaning up the evidence basically and Makarov's giving himself tattoos so basically maybe it seems like every one of his tattoos is something he's done to the world like some attack that he's carried out or something that's basically the story that i'm getting from this trailer is that every tattoo leads back to his story so maybe the campaign is us looking at makarov's tattoos and then playing the missions from his past just a guess but i mean i guess it could be something that would explain maybe what's going on with uh you know verdansk stadium somehow being there and not nuked and then during this price goes it's makarov and then there's a cool drop i would recommend checking out the full-on trailer because the music goes hard like straight up it's such a good trailer call of duty always knocks it out of the park with the trailers worldwide reveal august 17th it's officially confirmed now that this is going to be happening at that point in time so that'll be the in-game thing for warzone we go in stuff's going to be happening at observatory and then after we complete that event we're going to get like the official reveal trailer which is probably largely going to be story based keep in mind that all the gameplay that we're seeing throughout this is campaign based stuff it's not multiplayer so uh you know if you're worried about all oh, the super dark maps or underwater gameplay this is all campaign based we're not going to see multiplayer for probably some time here it's all single player and lore based building on the modern warfare universe and the story there with call of duty now but cool trailer in my opinion for sure uh that said that pretty much does it for this if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys thought the trailer was cool do me a favor drop a like and then of course if you guys are new here you want to guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in the world of call of duty whether it is news updates reveals like this between mw2 warzone and mw3 now be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out